You know, this hunt is really about the process of hunting a new spot. You know, we got permission from a, a close family friend. We've never been on it before. We have no history. The only thing we, we really have right now, we're just looking at maps, trying to figure out some corridors, some topographic changes, uh, looking at food sources. And it's finally time that the farmer takes out the corn. We can finally get in, set an observation stand. And it's mid-October. My brother Chris is behind the bow, my dad Mike's filming him, and they got the black racks out. So this is their first time in. Chris takes the black rack, starts cranking on them. They got a decoy out in front of them. And this buck shows up on the far edge of the field. Now this buck looks mature. He's got a gut, thick chest, big neck. He's acting aggressive like he's the dominant buck in the area. He's throwing corn up, making a scrape. Steam's rolling out of his nose. Finally looks like we got a mature buck that we're gonna target. So this buck's acting really aggressive towards this black rack. Chris does more rattling. He's still kicking up all kinds of corn. Um, he's making a big scrape line on the far edge of the field, but he, but he never does see the decoy. So he doesn't commit, doesn't come across the field, and eventually the buck headed off into a bedding area. But that was his mistake because now we know where he hangs out. So now we have a little bit of information about this buck, where he beds with the north wind and now we're just trying to pick up every little element we can to paint this picture. We're trying to find a spot where we can intercept him between food and bedding. We're gonna wait for the, the perfect conditions, the perfect storm. Uh, the stand selection we chose was actually still based on maps because we didn't want our human scent in the area. And we popped in, it's our first time in. We have a big horseshoe of a scrape line, which is key for late October. We want a wind shift. That's a big part of the October kill window. The bucks are are bedded with the wind of their back, rolling over their shoulders, they can see out in front of them. And then a big storm with heavy, heavy rain for long periods of time, hunkers the deer down, and then the minute that the, the rain stops, they get back up on their feet. So in this case, we have several things going for us. We're waiting for that moment, and October 28th, that morning of, was the perfect storm. We just uh, pulled the camera out, just stopped raining, and then we got a wind shift coming, so. We're hoping that the big boys are on their feet with this, uh, these wet conditions and the wind shift. It's going to be really windy today, but right now it's calm, so we're in a nice spot with a bunch of scrapes around us right here. And they get a bunch of trees have fallen down, so the cornfield's about 100 yards away. So we'll just sit tight and see what happens. So we're in the stand. It starts to get light. The rain is just starting to lighten up a little bit, and we start to feel the wind shift and it's a little bit swirly at first. That's the key to being in the stand before it happens. And you know that those bucks are gonna have to get up out of their bed and change beds. And all this starts happening, it's getting light, and we finally can pull the camera out and the wood starts to come alive. And the first deer we see is a doe and a fawn coming right down the trail that we walked in on. You know, that's the key to scent control. The, the phase body odor system is, you know, eliminating that scent, being able to walk in and have deer cross your path and not get you. So that was a, a huge thing right here. We knew we had good scent control and you know, it was just a matter of time before maybe a big buck got up on his feet and now it's, it's time to do some calling. And when it's really quiet like this to start and it's really wet, you can't really hear the deer. You don't know if anything's close. They're like ghosts out there. So the preferred method here to try to communicate was not to get the black rack out. I didn't really want to give the position away, but I just took the extinguisher out and I did a couple of light calls. It was the doe bleat. Uh, we're, we're just coming into the pre-ruts. We want to do some, some estrus doe bleats. 
We have a scrape line right around us, a horseshoe of, of scrapes right around us. And then I did some immature buck runs, just to kind of, you know, a buck's coming through the area, checking scrapes, maybe checking on these does, get some curiosity, and, and I laid that scenario out. So we're sitting there waiting just a few minutes after this calling sequence and we start to hear a noise. But it's it's not a deer, it's it's actually a squirrel. And it starts doing the alarming chirping, you know, that alarming sound. And they're basically telling all the other animals that there's something here, there's danger, there's something going on, I don't like it. And we look over and out comes a big rack popped right out of the woods. This is some of the coolest buck footage we've ever captured. He comes out, he just starts shaking all that rain off that's been building up on him the past few hours. He takes his head and starts spinning that rack, extremely aggressive, blowing all the rain off, trying to dry off. That was awesome. And this is where the proper setup with that wind really comes into play because you know, the wind was blowing directly where that buck entered when the rain was, was going on. And now when the rain stopped, the wind was in our face, even blowing off to our left a little bit. So the wind was bad for us in the beginning when we were setting up, but the key is to set up to where the wind is now in your favor for when the rain stops. And this buck starts coming around, circling to where our wind just was prior, and he starts hitting all the scrapes, looking for where this buck is, trying to figure out what deer is in his area. We have one of the biggest scrapes just off to our left, about seven yards. And as this buck approaches and he starts circling on that horseshoe loop of scrapes, we know exactly where he's going and it's on that downwind side of us to that big scrape. And this buck is reading the script perfect. He's rolling right down this scrape line, checking the scrapes. He's got his nose down, rolling over this big scrape to our left. Two cameras are running. I pull back my bow, 20 yards in closing, and it's about to go down. Mm. A really cold, windy, wet morning. And that buck came right in on our trail, so our scent control was really good. So it's starting to shake a little bit now. Man, he came in this morning all wet, dark, looked like a 300 pound beast, but new property, family friend let us come out here and do some hunting, so that is a great buck from Minnesota. Tagged out. Well, there's so many keys to this success on this hunt, but you know, the first one absolutely has to be just the process of setting up the property. You know, we've never been here before. We've only looked at maps. We got one encounter with this deer, but just the process of setting that up, observation, you know, targeting a buck and then trying to come up with a plan of attack, you know, that's a huge key to this success. Number two is you waited for that October kill window, right when all the big, heavy 24 hours of rain stopped. We had a big wind shift, wind direction, wind speed, all these things. And then, you know, a big part of that is the scent control, using the phase body odor system to be able to go in there and play that swirling wind right when right when those deer are moving and be able to get away with it. So scent control right there with the phase body odor system was a huge deal. And the final key to success was definitely the calling with the extinguisher. You know, painting the picture of that doe coming through, a young buck running right along his scrape line in his core bedding area, you know, painting that picture, creating that illusion and having that buck walk right in, fully believing that there's another buck in his area. 
The makers of the number one deer calling system of all time have done it again. Introducing the new Phase Body Odor System by Illusion. Phase out your human odor and start experiencing results like this. Scent control products that dry out your skin and hair are more than just a nuisance. They cause excess dander that negatively impact your hunt. Thousands of lost human skin cells contaminate your trails and setups, leaving behind a message of danger. The Phase System is designed to control your dander. These certified salon quality products keep your hair and body hydrated and nourished. Have you ever wondered what chemicals you are being sold to kill or destroy scent? The FDA recently banned triclosan, a common antibacterial agent for use in some of the most popular scent control products on the market. Phase is one of the most safe and effective scent control systems and its environmentally friendly formula was designed for use on sensitive skin. The Phase Z technology is not designed to kill anything. Instead, it permanently entraps odor molecules on contact. Are enzymes limiting your hunting success due to a limited shelf life? Freezing temperatures render most enzyme products useless, and extreme heat damages and diminishes the effectiveness of enzymes, meaning last year's clear items might already be spoiled. The new Phase Body Odor System has been tested and it's proven to maintain its integrity and effectiveness in all weather conditions and has a shelf life of more than 10 years. Top industry professionals choose the Phase Body Odor System for a reason. It works. Phase out your body odor in three simple steps. Phase 1 body treatment includes body wash, shampoo, conditioner, and body lotion. Phase 1 works to cleanse your body, condition your skin, and control your dander. Phase 2 garment treatment includes laundry detergent that adds scent capturing Z technology to any of your outdoor garments. Phase 3 field treatment is your last line of defense. Field foam captures odor molecules from perspiration that may occur in transit. Less than 5,000 phase body odor systems will be available on a first come first served introductory offer. With nearly 17 million hunters in the US alone, these systems will not last. Other salon quality products and scent control suits would cost you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to buy. But for a limited time, you can experience the advantages of the new Phase Body Odor System at a special introductory price. This five-piece system retails for over $50, but can be yours today for only $39.99. That's a 20% introductory discount. These first 5,000 systems will also include a free Deer Society vehicle decal and field staff discounts on all of the new Deer Society lifestyle apparel. Get your your phase body odor system today at illusionsystems.com. Don't wait until they're gone. Experience the new phase body odor system today. Order now.